They're not knocking on your door, they're taking control over your computer. It happened to one Springfield woman when she got a call from someone claiming to be from Microsoft. She gave them remote access to her computer. During that time, they were gaining her online passwords and information, and then she uh, verbally gave them her credit card information, her home address. So how can you tell when you're being taken advantage of? Nobody outside of uh, your organization at work will ever contact you offering you support over the phone. By letting someone take control over your computer, you're giving them more than just access to games or your Facebook page. And if you think giving somebody access to your computer isn't bad, think again. Hi, I'm a very Hi, important nice business person. Nice to meet you too. Can I get your keys and your credit card, please? Absolutely, no problem. All right, thank you so much. Thank you. Think that's a little over the top? Well, think of this. By giving people access to your computer, you've given them the keys to all of your personal information and even your finances. Another area to be careful, email or scam emails. Very rarely trust the links that are in your email, even if they came from, like, let's say you get a link from Amazon. It could be always be someone sending you a link to a page that looks like Amazon, trying to get your login credentials, which, in other words, they can steal your account that way. Getting back to what we mentioned earlier about Microsoft calling you up to help you out. No one will ever contact you and no one will ever ask for a password. In Springfield, Adam Hooper, KSPR News.